Hey everyone, it's Melinda with Tailored and Teal. I am a part-time online reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, and Facebook Marketplace. Today's video is what sold from October 1st through October 15th of 2021. Stay tuned. These first two weeks of October have been okay for sales. I had a few highs and I had definitely a few lows. Thankfully, I didn't lose any money, but I'm gonna go over some of those sales with you today. As always, we're going to start on Facebook Marketplace, but unfortunately, I didn't have any sales on Facebook Marketplace, so I have nothing to report. I haven't been listing hard good items over there, and I know that that's basically what sells the best for me personally. So it's been a lot of clothing and shoes and no one has wanted to buy any of the things that I've listed. So moving on to Mercari. Mercari, I had three sales. The first sale was a teal plastic faux coral necklace. Super chunky, kind of heavy. If you watched my ship with me video, which I'll link up here, you'll see how I wrapped it up. This came in my chunky jewelry lot from shopgoodwill.com and it sold for $16. Next up was a set of three raggedy and figurines. These were from Simon and Schuster, which is an offshoot of the Anesco Corporation. At least that's what it said on the bottom. They did have serial numbers on it. These were part of my mom's collections that she no longer wanted and they sold for $12. And then the last sale on Mercari was a Zara Man basic collection black skinny jeans. These were size 34. I got them out of my Thread Up Men's Rescue Box of 25 pounds and they sold for a full asking price of $20. So for Mercari, I had a total of 48 sales, $7.09 in fees, giving me a profit of $40.91. Moving on to Poshmark where I had 19 sales. I'm sure that you could tell by the thumbnail of this video what I sold, but I'm gonna go over it anyway. <laughs> so first, before I get to that, I am going to go over a few other sales that were kind of a win and a few losses. The first one was a Marnie geometric print dress. This came out of my thread up rent the runway designer retirees box. I can never get the name of that right, but um, it sold for $75 and that was a 50% off offer that I sent to all of the likers. Next was a Penn State holiday long sleeve shirt that had a ugly sweater type print on it. I really thought that this would sell fast because Penn State is a very large college. Actually, it's from my hometown in Pennsylvania, the main campus. People either went there or they're currently going there or they just really like Penn State as a team. But this took over a year and a half to sell. It only sold for $9 and I made a net profit of $1.56. So lesson learned on that one. <laughs> the next sale that didn't go so well was an American Eagle gray lace-up tank top. This was an excellent size, a size extra large. It was super soft. My Salvation Army likes to staple the tags to the actual garments, not like the tag or anything. So when I removed the staples, there were several small pinholes, but they were there, they were noticeable, and I did notate that in the listing. It did sell for $8, and again, I only made a profit of $1.56. I do try to look where the tags are stapled when I'm shopping in Salvation Army, but apparently I just missed this one. I think I was so excited to find an extra large in American Eagle that was a cute style and I just missed it, but it still sold and lesson learned. The next two sales are actually the exact same blouse in the exact same size and they sold within two days of each other. One sold on a Friday and then the other one sold on a Sunday. It was a maroon and white kind of geometric slash eye cat print. I really couldn't find a stock photo or anything for it and I didn't even think that I explained it very well like how it looked but it still sold and they each sold for $16. And now for the big sale. Very exciting. This jacket I got out of a Thread Up Men's Rescue Box of 25 pounds. It felt like a nice jacket, like a quality made jacket, but I really didn't think anything of it. And then I started doing a little bit of research and I found that these jackets were selling over $200 and I 
didn't really understand why until I saw that it was worn on Bella Swan in one of the Twilight movies. So since it was worn by a female in the movies, I wasn't sure if I should list it under women's or men's. I ultimately decided to list it under men's. I decided to go big in my asking price and I set it for $250. It sold for that price in seven minutes. And I had several people after it sold ask me if I had any more. So if you see this jacket out in the thrift store, 100% pick it up, as long as it's in good condition, of course. Um, it's a big bolo, so, so thankful for that. Thanks, ThreadUp, they're the ones that gave it to me. <laughs> And then the last sale I want to go over is a Jessica Simpson sweater. I talk about Jessica Simpson a lot on these What Sold videos. Her stuff sells for me. It doesn't sell for, you know, a ton of money, but it does sell and it sells relatively quickly. So this was a brown cowl neck sweater, very slouchy, very cozy looking, and this sold for $24. So of my 19 Poshmark sales, I made $596 in sales. My fees were kind of high this time because of the Berkman Brothers jacket. I had $124.50 in fees. I did give out $18 worth of shipping discounts, giving me a profit of $453.50 with an average sales price of $31.37. Moving on to eBay where I had 13 sales for these two weeks. The first sale I want to go over is a Vita Fede. It's V-I-T-A and then a separate word, F-E-D-E. -E. 24 karat gold snakeskin bracelet. So it had like a braided gold band up top and then a green textured snakeskin underneath. It was a bangle. You like squeeze it together and it would pop off on one of the sides so that you could place it on your wrist. Really cool, made in Italy. I got it out of a Shop Goodwill jewelry lot and it sold for $22. This next item to sell was the brand Elos, I think, E-L-L-O-S, or maybe it's Eos if it's Spanish. I don't know. But it was a crane printed semi sheer open front kimono cardigan, really nice condition. And it sold within a week of me listing it for $19. The next sale was free to me and came out of my own house of my childhood. It was a Scrubbing Bubbles squeaker toy. I'm not sure if this was originally geared towards animals or if it was geared towards children, but I remember playing with it as a kid. It was in my toy box all of those years and it sold for $11 and that was an offer that I sent to the customer, but it was still a pretty cool sale because it was very nostalgic for me personally. Next up is a pair of New Tags J. Jill Houndstooth Pull-On Slim Leg Pants. These I scored at my local Salvation Army for 99 cents. Woohoo! New Tags, I think they retailed for over $100. They sold for $36 and that was an offer that I sent to the customer. And then the last thing I wanna go over is another item I got in my Thread Up Men's Rescue Box. It was a Howler Brothers Lightning Bolt Olive Green Button Down Shirt. So it's Howler Bros, B-R-O-S, and I'll show you a picture of the tag. These particular shirts tend to sell for, I would say 25 and over. So if you find one that has a cool print or is a bigger size, this was a 2XL, I would definitely try it out if you can get it cheap enough. It seems to be a decent brand and it sold for $30. So of my 13 eBay sales, I had $217.30 in sales. I made $17.43 in shipping because what I charge the customer and what I actually pay through eBay is less. So I do make a small profit off of that. I had $46.76 in fees, giving me a profit of $187.97. And now moving on to all of my numbers. I had a total of 35 sales, $861.30 in sales, $178.92 in fees. My cost of goods this time was $104.88. And my net profit is $577.50. And my cost of goods per item that sold was $3, which is significantly lower than what I've had in the past but I did sell a lot of free to me items, so that helps lower that cost. 
Thank you for tuning into this video. I do these what sold videos every two weeks or twice a month. If you are not subscribed yet and you like videos like this, feel free to hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you here. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.